I quote, modeling the financial cycle correctly requires recognizing the fundamental monetary nature of economies. The financial system does not just allocate, but also generates purchasing power and has very much a life of its own, end of quote. Now, a financial system that creates purchasing power is very powerful indeed. But this is not an admissible conclusion for an economist. The power to create money is not to be seriously discussed. Therefore, almost all major economics textbooks tell their students that banks are mere intermediaries channeling money from savers to investors. Pre-existing money is implied. The fact that banks produce the money which they lend out is hidden behind a nonsensical money multiplier mechanism. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to end with a remark by one of the great independent thinkers of 20th century economics. I quote, the study of money above all other fields in economics is one in which complexity is used to disguise truth or to evade truth, not to reveal it. John K. Galbraith, thank you.